Have you ever been walking through a museum or any area with a historical significance and found yourself thinking, I wonder what it would feel like if I was there? Hello everybody, I'm Lavis and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-921, Museum of Memories. Let's begin. Item Number SCP-921 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Research Site 346 has been constructed inside SCP-921. Signs indicating volcano and earthquake hazards are to be posted around SCP-921's containment area in order to discourage civilian visitation. Foundation agents are to be disguised as members of the Armonite State Forest Service and are to ensure the area is vacant at all times. Interaction with instances of SCP-921-1 is permitted to all personnel who pass the general authorization process for the site, while direct interaction with SCP-921-2 requires authorization from Site Director Dr. Cyril. As I get into the description, let's see if you can make any guesses about what this SCP does in the comments, based on the containment procedures and name, and see how close you were to being right by the end of the video. Description SCP-921 is an underground complex of rooms, tunnels, and chambers of various sizes, composition, and age surrounding a central chamber, located in the mountainous area near <laughs> While some appear to be natural caves, others are clearly man-made or were formed by unknown means altogether. SCP-921's anomalous nature stems from the effect the assorted objects it contains, henceforth SCP-921-1, have on those who interact with them. Many of the rooms in SCP-921 contain rock formations or underground flora in the cave-like rooms, mundane items in the man-made rooms, or other objects in the unclassified rooms. These objects seem to contain sensations. When interacted with, each object will cause its user to experience a combination of sights, sounds, scents, and other sensory inputs, as well as emotions. No lasting or harmful effects due to interaction with instances of SCP-921-1 were observed. The central chamber of SCP-921 houses an incorporeal entity, henceforth SCP-921-2, who addresses those who enter the main chamber of SCP-921. 921-2's voice originates from the ceiling of the central chamber, though no obvious source has been found. 921-2 seems to serve as a sort of guide and curator to instances of SCP-921-1 housed within 921. When prompted, it will provide directions to a specific object or area of 921, or offer a limited explanation of the sensation contained within an individual object. The exact extent of 921-2's sentience is uncertain. 921-2 refers to various sections of 921 as wings and to instances of 921-1 as focus points. Each wing, room, and object is named. New rooms and wings will occasionally appear within 921, containing new focus points. These new areas of 921 will always be connected to an existing wing of the same general composition. Sub-Area 3 – The Drowned Grotto Wing Description a series of large, natural caves connected by a series of tunnels, many submerged underwater. Some sections of this wing receive natural sunlight. The focus points in this subsection are stalagmite and stalactite formations. Notable Focus Points Focus Point Number 3 – Summer Peak A single stalagmite, 8.6 meters tall, activated by touch, instills a sensation of acute vertigo. In addition to a subdued sensation of cold, described by subjects as similar to that felt when wearing warm clothes in a cold climate, and thin air. Subjects will also occasionally hear several phrases repeated in German and English. Too steep, leave him behind, we need to turn back, such a waste. 921-2's comment, quote, A failed expedition, an insurmountable challenge for a while. Death comes slowly while men reconsider and finally flee. Focus Point 12 The Trial A small stalagmite stationed in front of two larger stalagmites instills a sensation of defiance, sorrow, fear, and uncertainty of one's innocence, as well as the scent of aged wood and wax candles burning. Voices speaking in Dutch and Hebrew are heard as if coming from a long distance. Dangerous Thoughts 
must be removed from the community and the city. Pantheist. Heretic. One of us no longer. 921-2's comment. Quote, A small man stands accused of large thoughts. His world is too perfect and still for his peers, so they cast him aside. All of his brightness does nothing to shield him from the pain. Focus point 19. Lead Tidebreaker. A formation of 11 stalactites surrounding two stalagmites. All but one of the stalactites is broken, instills a sensation of bewilderment, anxiety, and bloodlust, as well as the smell of gunpowder, the rattling sound of machine guns, and the crunching of sand under military boots. 921-2's comment, quote, A whirling tide of iron flows to drown a small island of crimson. Instead, the waves themselves are broken on its shores, their iron staining the sands. The tide never stood a chance. Subarea 11, the Inky Chamber's Wing. Description. A series of study rooms and offices, each containing a desk and a means of writing, carved directly into the mountain and connected by wide corridors. The focus points in this area are either the desks or the writing tools. Notable focus points. Focus point four, a moment of peace. A typewriter stationed in an ornate study instills a vision of an underground bunker occupied by several young women in military uniforms, all working on typewriters similar to the focus point. The sound of a bombing run can be heard from above. Additionally, a faint smell of cigar smoke and a sensation of security and calmness are felt. 921-2's comment, quote, While the firestorm rages above them and the very base of their lives is threatened, they are secure in the knowledge that they are doing everything in their power to help, and so does he. Focus point nine, Autumn. A quill pen and inkwell, located on a small wooden table in an otherwise empty room, instills two conflicting sensations superimposed on one another. The first is the sight of a countryside in autumn, the smell of ripe apples, and the sound of water flowing in a stream. The second is the sight of a dark, musty room, the sensation of soiled bedsheets and an acute pain in the chest. 921-2's comment, quote, a perfect moment in time, captured forever by one who did not live to experience many. Taken too soon, he was consumed by his own flame. His conflagration burned still in the minds of others. Focus point 13, regret. A fountain pen, stationed on a Louis XV-style writing desk, instills the sensation of apprehension, disbelief, and shame. Cheap wood can be felt around the neck, and the cheering and jeering, in French, of a large crowd of people can be heard, as well as the scent of rotten fruits and rust. 921-2's comment, quote, Despised for errors he could not avoid making, betrayed by one of his own blood for a prize already lost to both, doomed to be remembered as a tyrant when he was but a simple fool. True tyrants followed. Subarea 15, The Jail Wing. Description. A collection of brick-lined cellars. Each cellar contains four compartments, two bearing serial numbers and two unnumbered. The focus points in this area are the unnumbered compartments. Notable focus points. Focus point one, Genesis. The unnumbered compartment above compartment number one instills a vision of a boardroom containing a long wooden table and 13 leather armchairs. Voices speaking in English, French, German, Italian, and Spanish can be heard, but are too unclear to decipher. Feelings of worry, determination, and secrecy are also instilled. 921-2's comment, quote, the gardeners assemble to discuss their greatest creation. They seek to trap with it Typhoon and Jormungandr, the griffin and the hounds of hell. But they are no gods. Focus point 13, in the desert. The unnumbered compartment above compartment number 13 instills a vision of the same boardroom seen in focus point one. Five of the chairs are missing and no voices can be heard at all. Feelings of betrayal, anger, and disbelief are also instilled. 921-2's comment, quote, 
Insects chew and burrow and bite at the great vines. Insatiable, they seek the sweet fruits of the tree. They cared not for what lies beneath. Focus Point 21, St. George and the Dragon. The unnumbered compartment above compartment 21 instills a sense of rage, excitement, and loathing. In addition to the smell of wet earth and blood, Loud roars originating from two separate sources can be heard. 921-2's comment, This George was no saint, as his squires were soon to learn. Locked in battle, there was no chivalry to be found between knight and dragon. Soon, both were again locked away like beasts. So they deserved. Sub-area 19, the checkered tunnel wing. Description. A kilometer-long tunnel composed of tiles of unknown composition or make. The largest sub-area to be discovered. Focus points in this area are found within cavities in the tiles. Notable focus points. Focus point 327. Serrated Baptism. A cavity found 132.5 meters inside the tunnel. Instills a sense of massive physical pain and fear, followed by a sense of elation and tranquility. Voice chanting in an unknown language and the smell of metal can also be sensed. 921-2's comment, quote, The iron wolf removes another from the flock of the shepherd of flesh. Those who are taken are sheep no longer. Focus point 585, Rare Unity. A cavity found 301 meters inside the tunnel. Instills a vision of a small group of people praying in different languages, most notably Arabic, Latin, and Hebrew. A sense of fascination, suspension, and uncertainty can also be felt. 921-2's comment, quote, In fear of a great fire, the animals of the forest forget old grudges. What is a wolf when the flaming brand draws ever closer? Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, you can click over here for another video I made. Or if you're feeling extra cool, you could click over here to subscribe. Have a nice day.